this video we're going to do a conversion tool in PHP. This conversion tool is changing the distance that we put into a text box and depending on what units that we're putting in it switches it to the other type of unit. So in this case if I choose 100 kilometers and press submit it chooses 62 miles as the answer and vice versa if I choose the distance that I enter the units being miles I press submit and I get 161 kilometers. So let's break that down and see how it's done. Going to the form page first of all, the form is quite simple. I just have an action attribute in the form tag. That's going to the result page, in this case, and this is the name here. And I'm also using the post method. So we've got a submit button on that form, and the two items that we need in that form is a text box, first of all, to enter the distance, and I've just got a label there. And then also we need two radio buttons and the radio buttons are set as a pairing so the name has to be the same name set to units in both cases and then I've set the value to kilometers on one and miles on the other again with accompanying accompanying labels when the user presses submit on this form the post method will take the value of the text box will put the label distance on it put it into the post array and also we'll take the radio button item, whichever one is chosen, we'll either choose the value as either kilometers or miles and put the label units into the post array and that gets passed on to the results page. Now let's go to the results page. In the PHP scriptlet on the results page, we just take out the two values that have just been put into the post array on the form page. So one was labelled distance and the other was labelled units. So we're nipping them out of the post array and we're assigning both of them into corresponding variables. So we've got dollar distance and dollar units. And now we've got a choice to make. We want to use an if-else structure and we want to see which unit has been chosen. So if the units chosen is kilometers, then I want to run one piece of code. And then otherwise, if it's miles, I want to run an alternate piece of code. So I can see the if structure here, and the if syntax is always the keyword if, round brackets, and inside the round brackets we have some kind of comparison that evaluates to either true or false. And so this comparison I have here is I'm checking to see is the value that's in dollar units, is it equal to KMS? Remember, Anytime that I'm doing a comparison that asks is one thing equal to another, I use double equals. A single equals in PHP is an assignment operator. If this comparison is true, what I want to do is I want to take the distance and divide it by the conversion constant, which in this case is 1.60934 kilometers to a mile. So take the distance divided by that amount that will give me the corresponding miles. I'm assigning the result of that calculation into a dollar miles variable. And then I echo out that result. I'm also using the round function just to round down the number of miles to the nearest whole number. With the if else structure, I'll just tack on the else at the end of that. So if unit is not equal to KMS and this comparison fails, it immediately jumps down to the else structure. I don't need to put in a comparison there. This is just whatever else happens. If dollar units is not equal to KMS, then run this alternate piece of code. So in our case, if it's not equal to KMS, it has to be equal to miles. And so therefore we do the opposite on the calculation, we take the distance and multiply it by the conversion constant, 1.60934, to get the kilometers. So that's assigned into a kilometers variable. And again, we just go ahead and output that result. And we're rounding it down to the nearest total number. So that's a really simple example of an if-else structure. And we've just used this as an example of a conversion tool. In this case, it's going from kilometers to miles and vice versa, but you could use any kind of conversion constant there at all.
look up in the top corner and you'll see a card just appear and this will lead you on to the next video on this series and that's going to show you how to use an if else if structure thanks for listening and uh, don't be afraid to like and subscribe